Hi, in this video I'll be showing you how to calibrate your studio speakers using Sonarworks Reference 3 speaker and room calibration software in order to have accurate monitoring and mixes that translate well to any system. Sonarworks Reference 3 software comes with its own microphone which is calibrated in an anechoic chamber together with a calibration file which is unique to your particular microphone. The software comes in two parts, the measurement software and a plugin for insertion on your master channel. The plugin comes in AAX, VST, audio unit and RTAS formats. Sonarworks Reference 3 is available for Mac and PC. Please see the Sonarworks website for system requirements. Once you've installed the software, launch the measurement app. The first thing you'll need to do is load your unique microphone calibration file. Click on Calibrate Your System and then Add From File. Locate the calibration file that came with your microphone. If you're using the Sonarworks microphone, load the 30 degree calibration file. Now select your microphone input channel and check that you are receiving a signal. Click on play test track and you should hear a voice. The voice will first come through the center and then from the left speaker and then the right speaker. Please adjust amplifier volume. My voice should sound in normal conversation volume. Left speaker. Right speaker. Position your microphone so that it's in your seating position at ear height with the mic aimed directly towards the speakers. You can now adjust the microphone sensitivity to make sure you're getting the correct level. Next, measure the distance between your speakers and your listening position. Move the microphone close to the mid-range driver of your left speaker. When the test is complete, Move the microphone close to the mid-range driver of your right speaker. You can now review the dimensions and make fine adjustments if required. Now, place the microphone back in the listening spot. You can now review the dimensions and make fine adjustments again if required. Now that the listening positions have been calculated, you can move on to the measurement phase. Sonarworks Reference 3 gives you up to 72 measurement positions on PC and up to 24 on Mac. Move the microphone so that it lines up with the blue circle shown on the screen. The measurements will start automatically once the microphone is positioned correctly. Repeat this step until all measurements have been taken. Once the measurements have been completed successfully, you can click Save to save your file for loading into the plugin. You can now quit the measurement app and load your door software. 
Once you've loaded your software, insert the Sonarworks Reference 3 plugin on your master channel. Open the plugin window and load your saved measurement file. Click on Add to open the drop-down menu where you can select to view your room EQ curves before correction, the target EQ and after correction. With Avoid Clipping active, the plugin compensates for any increase in level induced by EQ boosts. In the Advanced menu, there are three filter phase types minimum and mixed for reduced latency when recording, and linear for fully accurate correction when mixing at the expense of some additional latency. In addition, you can further tweak the amount of correction using the calibration limit controls. In the Calibrate menu, you have the option to monitor with a flat EQ response, a custom response which allows you to tweak the bass boost and high frequency tilt, or a predefined response which mimics some popular speakers or headphones if you've purchased the headphone calibration option. You can now mix with confidence knowing that your mixes will translate well to other systems. Don't forget to remove or bypass the plugin when you're bouncing your mix.